dudes padded up on skateboard going around the track, and then you realize they're going like 40 miles an hour and not using their feet to push. You are witnessing the birth of a new sport called powered skateboard racing. The history with the uh, with the motorized skateboards only goes back about about two weeks ago. Today, I'm excited to just see how how this works because. Uh, I didn't even know this existed until maybe like a week ago. I expect some guys to go fast, some guys to go slow, but uh, you know, it's it's uh, it's groundbreaking either way you look at it because I haven't seen any of this. Skateboards are currently traveling at about 45 miles an hour, and every day of the week I'm working on hitting 60. <laughs> you know, these guys like to modify their, their boards and make them run pretty quick. I think it's got a future. Being here in Southern California, we've got the aerospace industry. We could end up with a lot of engineers wanting to uh, to build these boards and, uh, and come out and race them. The rules of motorized skateboarding are, are very simple. Uh, false cards are disqualified, no bumping, and first person I thought the first person wins without falling off the skateboard. It's all, it's all about just holding your speed and just keeping your balance. You all you have is on and off for the, for the motor. Plug this in right here, and you hold the switch. Turn it on, it goes. If Wilbur and Orville Wright can build a flying machine, we can build a basket. ESPN, here we come. It is going to be a legitimate sport. It's going to be very well received. I already know. It's exciting. It's got sex appeal. The racers have personality. Oh, do they have personality.